Hello friends, now I am going to start with our next topic, current growth equation in presence of secondary ionization process. The secondary ionization process is already discussed in last class. Here we have to derive the current growth equation under that process. So considering same circuit having two electrodes separated by a certain distance that is small d. Negative is given to the electrode attains cathode and positive is given to another electrode represented as anode. Here I just start with the primary ionization. The photon energy which falls on the cathode releases one electron. Now let that number of electrons be n0. We'll define those number of electrons in next slide. So this electron when collide with the neutral molecule release one electron with the initial electron and one positive ion. Now here we have three sub processes which initiates the electrons. First is when this positive ion bombards on the cathode workplace. This bombardment uh, releases one electron or few more number of electrons. We are going to represent that number of electrons as n plus. Another point is another sub process is during this collision and the bombardment, the atoms which are excited due to the friction, due to the friction, because every collision bombardment not only release the electrons positive ions, but also the friction between that increases the heat. This rise in temperature that is heat releases the photon energy and this emission of the photon energy emits the electrons. So first process we get the liberation of electrons that is due to the bombardment. Second due to again the photon energy which is developed due to the excited atoms and third with the metastable particles which emits the electrons. So this is responsible to emit the electrons and hence then follow the primary ionization process. Primary ionization process. Now let us do the derivation after this understanding. Let N0 be the initial number of electrons which are released from the cathode then n plus again it is number of electrons released from the cathode but this is due to the photon energy which falls on the cathode and this is due to the positive ion bombardment. Positive ion bombardment. So we have this. Now we can add both the number of electrons so that we can call it is a total number of electrons released from the cathode. Total number of electrons released from the cathode. It may be due to the photon energy or it may be due to the positive ion bombardment. Now, let N be the 
टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रीचिंग टू एनोड रीचिंग टू एनोड सो दीज आर द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आई हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द कैथोड एंड दिस मे बी द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रीचिंग टू द एनोड वाई वी हैव टू डू डिफरेंट रिप्रेजेंटेशन बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिलीज फ्रॉम रिलीज फ्रॉम गैस दैट इज फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल्स इट इज एन माइनस एन जीरो प्लस एन प्लस so it is clear cut that whatever may be the number of electrons reaching to that anode minus the total number of electrons released from that cathode will gives us the total number of electrons released from the gas neutral molecule now here i just introduce one more parameter related to townsend's that is townsend second ionization coefficient represented as gamma so this is townsend's secondary or townsend's second ionization coefficient the definition of this is similar to the alpha and it is the number of electrons release number of electrons released from cathode from cathode per incident positive ion per incident positive ion so that is nothing but the gamma so with respect to this we can make the changes in the equation as we know the initial equation in primary ionization current growth is written as with the number of electrons n is equal to n0 into e to the power alpha d that was derived in first case that is current growth in primary ionization process but due to the additional number of electrons released from cathode the equation has changed to n0 plus n plus e to the power alpha d this is n equal to n0 plus n plus into e to the power alpha d now i just call this as equation 1 so corresponding to each electron released from the cathode there will be one positive ion and each positive ion released gamma effective electrons from the cathode therefore we can write down this as n plus is equal to gamma in bracket n minus n0 plus n plus so every gamma releases the electrons from the cathode and that is represented as n plus b the number of electrons after bombardment so n plus is equal to gamma in bracket these are nothing but the number of electrons released from gas that is number of electrons released from gas so now if i just multiply this term i get gamma n minus gamma n0 minus gamma n plus collecting n plus terms i get 1 plus gamma as n plus is present on the left hand side of the equation so gamma n plus and this n plus collected together where that sign has changed it is equal to now that gamma is taken common i get this 
by writing the expression for so here i just write implies n plus is equal to gamma n minus n zero divided by one plus gamma consider this as your equation two now put equation two in equation one put equation two in equation one that is in place of n plus that you have to put so i get n is equal to now i just make a square bracket n zero plus gamma n minus n zero upon one plus gamma out of this you have e to the power alpha d now just take the lcm one plus gamma in square bracket and i get n0 plus n0 into gamma plus gamma into n minus gamma into n0 so i get multiplied by e to the power alpha d here you can see this n0 gamma gamma n0 with a plus and minus sign so therefore i get n is equal to n0 plus gamma n upon 1 plus gamma multiplied by e to the power alpha d that is what the value of n that is what the value of n now let us consider an next slide now multiply this 1 plus gamma by left hand side you get n plus n into gamma is equal to multiply n0 plus gamma n with e to the power alpha d so i get n0 e to the power alpha d plus gamma n e to the power alpha d now just collect the term of n on one side so n plus n gamma minus n gamma e to the power alpha d is equal to n0 e to the power alpha d we are just reaching to the end so by taking n common i get 1 plus gamma minus gamma e to the power alpha d is equal to n0 e to the power alpha d writing the equation for n which we need ultimately n0 e to the power alpha d divided by 1 plus now i just take this gamma common as it is present in the so i get gamma 1 minus e to the power alpha d now i just rearrange this term and writing this term as n0 e to the power alpha d upon 1 minus now i am getting 1 minus as i am taking e alpha d on this side minus 1 so now by writing this n equation in terms of current so i just write in terms of current in terms of current what i get is i is equal to i0 e to the power alpha d upon 1 minus gamma e to the power alpha d minus 1 so this is your rising current or you can say current growth equation current growth equation in terms of secondary ionization process in presence of secondary ionization process 
so in practice positive ions photons and metastable all the three may participate in process of ionization as we have consider only one gamma but if we consider all the three processes which i have mentioned in the first slide then that can be represented as gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 and the total is gamma 1 plus gamma 2 plus gamma 3 and accordingly this above equation can be changed so that's all with this discussion here let us end the discussion thank you